Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another reading. Um, this reading is going to be on Nicki Minaj and Lotto. And I also want to see what's going to happen between Nicki Minaj and the City Girls in the future. Okay, so let's start off with this. Um, how does Nicki Minaj feel about going back and forth with Lotto on Twitter? Nicki Minaj, what is her energy towards Lotto right now? How does she feel about going back and forth with Lotto on social media? Nicki Minaj, what is her energy right now? Okay, so... Right now, she is thinking about music. So the Knight of Cups, it talks about, it is kind of helping her creativity, okay? So don't be shocked if Nikki throws some shots at lottery ticket, okay? Because she is in her music bag right now. The Knight of Cups, um, that represents creativity. That represents, you know, um, passion, projects, you know, forming ideas, and that's her energy right now, okay? We also have the Six of Wands. This talks about private achievement in reverse. So that means she feels like um, this was kind of planned. She feels like, you know, um, Lotto was purposely trying to pick a fight with her because she already talked to Lotto behind the scenes. So she felt like Lotto was moving strategically, trying to pick a fight with her, and she's going to put it in the music, okay? So the Seven of Swords, that represents uh, moving strategically, okay? And then we also have, you know, the Nine of Wands in reverse. That talks about an overinvestment, okay? So she feels like she was spending a lot of energy and time going back and forth, and some people might have missed the message, okay? But she's going to put all this energy, all this negativity into her music. And the Knight of Cups, that kind of speaks about it. Okay. Lotto. Will she take shots at Nicki Minaj in any songs that she puts out? Will she take shots at Nicki Minaj? Lotto, will she take shots at Nicki Minaj and any music that she puts out in the future? Lotto, will she take any shots at Nicki Minaj? It feels like if she do, she's going to lose more fans. The Five of Pentacles, this talks about her taking a loss, okay, a financial loss. But we do have the Six of Wands. This talks about when she drops music, people are going to be listening to see if she takes any shots. And then the Knight of Cups is here too. This talks about creativity, passion. So I feel like um, there's a possibility that she will take a shot at Nicki Minaj. It's going to be like a subliminal shot. But um, she will lose some fans. Okay, she will lose some fans. And then also we got the Devil card here. And the Devil card represents sacrifices that Lotto is going to be making. Um, you know, when her next era comes around, she definitely will be doing a lot of symbolisms. Okay. So she will be making a lot of sacrifices. Um, the two of pentacles is here in reverse. This talks about a lot of indecision. And then the, the star card is here in reverse. And this talks about being overly optimistic. So that means that, um, if she does take a shot, it may not be, um, People may not react to it so positively because Nicki Minaj has a bigger fan base. So compared to lottery tickets fan base, you know, um, the reaction to both songs are going to be different. You know, Nicki, she does more in sales because she's been in the game for longer. So basically, Nicki Minaj is going to have more of a positive reaction to her music. And she's a little bit more diverse than Lotto. Okay, so... Um, when Lotto takes a shot, it may not really create the buzz that, you know, people think it will create, you know, it might get trending for one day, but ultimately she's not going to get the support 
that, um, you know, she thinks she's going to get. But it does look like she might send us a subliminal shot. Um, and somebody in Lotto's ear. Is somebody telling Lotto to not mess with Nicki Minaj? Is somebody in Lotto's ear currently telling her not to mess with Nicki Minaj? Lotto. Is somebody in Lotto's ear telling her not to mess with Nicki Minaj? Lotto. Is somebody in Lotto's ear telling her not to mess with Nicki Minaj? Mmm, interesting. Interesting. So, I will say this. There is somebody here. The lover's card is here in reverse. And I don't know if this is 21 Savage, but there's somebody in her ear telling her things about Nicki Minaj. The lover's card, that talks about somebody that she has a close relationship with. And then also, she does feel like Nikki has betrayed her. So a lot, she did have some built up animosity. But the reason why she was taking those low jabs is because somebody was, you know, in her ear saying, oh, you should say this. So you didn't say that. And um, the Ten of Swords is here. That talks about betrayal. So she does feel like Nikki has betrayed her. Okay. Um, she feels like Nikki is um, somebody that can't be trusted. And then we also have um, the death card. This really ruined their relationship. The death card, this talks about their relationship will ultimately never be the same. Okay. But there is somebody in her um, friend group and her team that doesn't really like Nikki. And the lover's card that talks about somebody that she has a, an intimate relationship with. So it could be... Um, you know, her lay next to 21 Savage, you know, tweeting up a storm. And if you guys remember, Nikki had issues with 21 Savage before. Um, but he's been kind of quiet, low key. So let's see. Um, why didn't Lotto respond to Kodak Black? Why didn't Lotto respond to Kodak Black when he called her Frappuccino? She was very quiet. Why didn't Lotto respond to Kodak Black? Lotto, why didn't she respond to Kodak Black when he called her Frappuccino and was going off about her winning um, Song of the Year at the BET Awards? Okay, so she kind of sees him as somebody that's able to pull strings. It's interesting because even though um Nikki is um been in, even though Nikki's been in the game for so long, she doesn't see her as like somebody that's powerful. Like when it comes to like helping her chart, yes, but like somebody pulling strings behind the scenes, that's how she views Kodak Black. The King of Pentacles, this talks about entrepreneur, businessman, so many of wealth and status. She feels like he can pull a lot of strings behind the scenes and kind of stop her bag. That's how she kind of feels, okay? And um, also the lover's card is here. Wants the person she's in a relationship with to address Kodak Black, okay? Which would be like 21 Savage. So she feels like he needs, like, you know, her man has to handle that, okay? She don't really want to address him because she feels like he might, um, I guess, pull some strings. And he is under Atlantic. I think she's scared to get on, you know, his bad side because he might have some connections within the industry. I'm not getting that she feels the same way about um, Nicki Minaj. You know, she knows that Nicki has a big fan base, but to pull strings behind the scenes to stop somebody's bag, she doesn't feel like Nicki could do that. That's why. 
Okay, so that's another reason why she came at her. She doesn't feel like Nikki could do that. And that's probably because Nikki has gotten into it with so many female rappers. Um, and then, like, after that, nothing really happens. So I think she was, like, more um, comfortable, you know, disrespecting Nikki. Okay? So let's see. Um, will Nicki Minaj and um, Lotto ever make amends? Nicki Minaj and Lotto. Will they make amends in the future? Nicki Minaj and Lotto. Will they make amends in the future? Nicki Minaj and Lotto. Will they make amends in the future? I feel like they're going to have a conversation behind the scenes. The Queen of Sources talks about direct communication. But ultimately, they're not going to, like, budge on how they feel, okay? Because the, the Queen of Wands represents confidence, standing my ground in reverse. So ultimately, there's still going to be some ego involved. They might not exchange, like, sorries or anything like that, but they will communicate behind the scenes, okay? And then the Two of Pentacles in reverse. This talks about indecision, okay? And then we also have the Empress card in reverse. This talks about, um, you know, codependency. The Emperor card, there's a person that's helping Lotto, a person behind the scenes, a powerful man. I don't think it's 21 Savage. This talks about an executive helping um, lottery ticket. So it does look like they will um, talk behind the scenes, but they might not exchange like I'm sorry or anything. The relationship is still going to be um, kind of hard to fix because of the low blows. Because now they talked about each other's families and everything. So uh, it doesn't look like the relationship will ever be the same, but they will have a conversation. Um, moving on from that, Lotto's career. How will Lotto's career be musically in 2023? Lotto's career musically. How will that be in 2023? Lotto's music career. How will that be in 2023? Lotto's music career. Lotto's music career. How will that be in 2023? Okay. So she got a big collaboration coming, the Three of Pentacles. This talks about a major collaboration coming. I don't know if this is the Cardi B collaboration, but she got a big collaboration coming. And then the Three of Cups, she's going to be working with um, bigger artists, you know, trying to form relationships with people in the industry. Um, she will have some success, but she also will have some challenges. The Seven of Wands talks about overcoming some challenges in the industry. Um, the Hangman, that talks about stalemate. Um, we also have, you know, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. This talks about unpaid debts. So the label may not be able to recoup all the money that they put into Lotto, okay? Unpaid debts, that talks about what you owe. So the label, RCA, may not be able to recoup all the money that they put into Lotto, okay? Um, and then the Two of Wands, it talks about expansion. So she will get bigger opportunities. Um, you know, she'll be able to maybe tour overseas or do shows overseas because she's been doing a lot of shows in the U.S. So she may be able to do like, you know, shows overseas, do some festivals and stuff like that. Uh, but she's still going to have some challenges when it comes to getting that support, finding her fan base. That's where her issue is going to come in. And then also the label is not going to um, fully make what they put into Lotto. Um, Lotto sales wise, how will Lotto do, um, musically when it comes to her sales in 2023? Lotto sales wise, how will she do musically when it comes to her sales in 2023?
Yeah, so her sales are not going to be the best, okay? You know, it looks like she's still going to have that confidence, though. You know how she is with big energy? She's still going to be cocky and big-headed when it comes to those sales. She's going to be holding on to that big energy. And if that big collaboration that she got does well, she's going to be bragging about that. So she's still going to have that confidence when it comes to her sales, even though it's not really doing too well. And then the five of pentacles, that talks about a loss. So she will take a loss. Uh, when it comes to, I guess, the support that she gets. Um, and then the death card is here that talks about an ending. The ten of wands in reverse that talks about, you know, um, burdens. Okay, she will experience some hardship. Not financially, but um, some hardship when it comes to getting support from her fans. Um, the ace of pentacles in reverse that talks about a lack of opportunities, okay? And then the Eight of Cups, this talks about trying one more time. So she'll still be working, but, you know, she might have that difficulty finding her fan base or getting that support. And she's not the only female rapper that struggles with that. Um, Sweetie has that issue and so does Megan Thee Stallion, where, you know, they, they do all this work, they get all these brand deals, um, and then when they drop music, you know, the buzz is there for like a few days, but then the support, the sales are not there. And the same thing with Walmart Yonsei. So she's going to have that issue because she doesn't really have a fan base yet. And, you know, some of the barbs were supporting her, but she might not have that support from the barbs anymore. So, um, yeah, did I have any other questions in regards to Lotto? I don't think so. But um, I might do a part two. Um, another thing I want to ask is um, Nicki Minaj. Will she fall out with JT from the City Girls, Nicki Minaj? Will she fall out with JT in the future from the City Girls? Nicki Minaj. Will she fall out with them in the future? Nicki Minaj, will she fall out with JT in the future? Because people keep saying on social media that JT is next. So let's see. Will she be falling out with JT in the future? Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj, will she be falling out with JT in the future? Nicki Minaj. I do feel like they will have an issue. Um, the Seven of Wands, this talks about challenges. Then the Knight of Cups, it talks about in reverse, jealousy, moodiness. Then the Five of Cups, this talks about failure, disappointment. So when she falls out with JT, she's going to be um, disappointed. Um, and then we also have the Nine of Wands again that talks about overinvestment. Um, Five of Pentacles talks about a loss that will transpire. And the world card represents life cycles, okay? So she will have a falling out with um, JT in the future. And let's see, um, does JT genuinely like Nicki Minaj? Let's see, JT, does she genuinely like Nicki Minaj? I always wanted to know that. JT, does she genuinely like Nicki Minaj? I'll be honest with you. I don't think JT genuinely likes Nicki. The Queen of Swords is here in reverse. This talks about bitterness. She believes that Nikki is bitter, okay? That narrative that Nikki's jealous, bitter, she believes it, but she don't. she's not going to say it until, you know, they fall out. Then she'll say, you know, you're bitter. You don't talk about her age, you know, the same old, same old. The full card, she does think that Nikki is a fun person. She does think that she's a fun person. 
ultimately their relationship they're going to go in different directions the chariot card is here in reverse and this talks about a lack of direction and she does feel like nikki could be challenging to work with or um hard to get along with basically because the the seven of pentacles is here and this talks about being overwhelmed she feels like Nicki minaj could be intimidating okay or you know her personality could be too much okay and then we also have the four of swords the four of swords that kind of talks about um contemplation okay so even though now she's not saying anything when they fall out you know there could be a possibility of her saying that you know nikki is bitter or jealous you know like how the other girls feel um does carisha genuinely like Nicki Minaj Carisha does she genuinely like Nicki Minaj Carisha does she genuinely like Nicki Minaj Carisha Carisha does she genuinely like Nicki Minaj Carisha Um, no, <laughs> I hate to say it, but the six of pentacles, she's trying to make money off of Nikki. The six of pentacles, I talked about seeing somebody, um, of wealth and status. Okay. Just how she sees Diddy. And then the three of cups in reverse, she looks as at Nikki as a loner or somebody that doesn't have any friends. Um, the three of cups in reverse, that represents somebody that parties alone or doesn't have a lot of friends or a lot of people to talk to. That's how she looks at Nikki. Um, she does feel like Nikki has a lot of power within the industry. The Emperor card is here. This talks about resources. And then um, she does respect her as an artist. I don't want you guys to think that, you know, the city girls don't respect her as an artist. They do because the Sun card is here. And this talks about positivity, but at, they don't like her personality, if that makes sense. They like Nikki as an artist, but personality-wise, they do not like her. And that's where the disconnect is, okay? And the high priestess is also here, and that talks about disconnection, okay? So in the future, I would not be shocked if, you know, they um, go head to heaven, Nikki, especially since, you know, people feel like Lotto won that. People are saying, oh, she she did what the other girls couldn't do. So a lot of people feel like, you know, Lotto basically made it easier for people to come at Nicki Minaj. So anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and have an amazing day.